Hello, so today's video is gonna be on exactly what you see here, which is my bathroom medicine cabinet. Um, I just went through, I know you're probably gonna be like, what? But I did just go through and clean this the other day. I know it probably doesn't look super clean because there are so many products in here, but as you know, I am a bit of a product junkie, but there's just so much stuff in here. And like with the problems I've been having with uh, my skin, I'm battling clearing up this acne for the past I don't know, month or so, um, acne and dry skin. I just figured if there's anyone out there with the same issues as me, dry skin, acne, etc., cetera, um, maybe you would enjoy seeing what's in here. This is really just how I take care of my skin, my body, a little bit of everything, maybe some makeup. So let's get right into it. So let's start here on the bottom shelf. I know it looks really cluttered and crazy right here, um, but that's just because these are the items I reach for the most. So I just kind of put them all together here. Um, let's start over on the left side. So I do have this little, it's actually, it was a candle holder. So first in here, I have this Kiehl's um, Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which I actually have not been using because there is a lot of fragrance in here and with the acne treatment I'm on, I just can't handle fragrance and products on my skin right now. So this is just kind of tucked under here, tucked to the wayside because it's just not really doing anything for me right now and really burns my skin at the moment. Um, otherwise, in here, I have a little thing of Visine, which I use the most on Sunday mornings if I go out Saturday night <laughs> for my eyes. Or I use this um, on the sides of my nose, like, right, I guess like the part where the nostril like meets the cheek. Um, my The bottom of my nose tends to get a little red, which is like a hormonal redness. But dabbing Visine onto a Q-tip and dabbing that Q-tip onto the red part of my nose really just like totally nixes the redness without needing to use concealer and is great for during the day when I'm not wearing makeup. There were two more products in here and one of them is this Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream, um, which I use a couple nights a week. This is a really thick moisturizing cream. Um, it does really well with the medication I'm on. It doesn't burn my skin. And it's just a really nice moisturizing night cream. And then also in here, I had my Glam, Glam Glow uh, Super Mud treatment. This is the original Glam Glow. This is for, um, what's it called? <laughs> this is for blemish skin, and it really just does a great Moving job. On um, behind the candle holder, there is two, if you can see them, containers. This one here has like hair clips, bobby pins, um, different types of little hair hair tools and things. And then up top here are ponytail holders. Um, I keep them, that's actually a Velispa candle tin. I hate having ponytail holders out. I think it looks really sloppy and really messy and I just hate the look of having ponytail holders out in the open. So I keep them in that opaque tin and I can just reach in and grab them in the mornings when I need them. Um, then moving on, I have my Dr. What is this? Dr. Dennis Gross um, peels, the alpha beta peels. These are awesome. Um, you're supposed to use these once a day. I'm currently not using them right now because I can't with the medication I'm on. I can't use any like alpha betas or alpha hydroxies or glycolic acids or anything like that. It also has like, I don't know, retinols. All those things I can't use are in here. So these are just like set to the side until I'm finished with my acne treatment and can use these again. I have my It's a 10 Miracle Hair Masks. Uh, this is the mask I'm currently using. I just dyed my hair back to my natural dark chocolatey brown and I'm doing a lot of hair treatments just kind of bring my hair back to life. I'm back here behind the hair mask are two things I use every day. My Aquaphor Advanced Therapy. I use this um, on my lips and also when I'm using my acne treatment because it has a tendency to burn my skin, I will rub Aquaphor all over my nose and um, my eyes which are more sensitive areas that can be burnt by the harsh treatment. So I use it as a protective layer when I'm putting that medication on. Back there is my CeraVe SPF 30 sunscreen. I wear that every day. I wear sunscreen every day regardless because it's the best anti-ager ever. So moving on to the other side here, I have a couple facial mists. This is the toner I'm currently using. This is the Lush Aroma water and this is a toner for dry, dehydrated, and super sensitive skin. Um, it's the only toner that does not burn me and really leaves my skin super hydrated with the treatments that I'm on. Um, this is, I forgot this brand. Tony Molly, I think. Yeah, Tony Molly. 
Um, it's like a Korean skincare brand, and this is the Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. And this is just a really nice, um, like, facial moisturizing mist that, again, just like if my skin's peeling super dry, I can spritz a little bit of this on. This is like a couple dollars from the Sephora grab-and-go bin at the front of the store. Back here is my Fresh Sugar Lychee Body Lotion. That's more like my special occasion lotion when I really want to feel like super fresh and smell like fresh and bright and beachy, more so like when Dan and I are doing something during the day and I don't want to use just like a regular lotion, I can put that on, feel a little bit more luxurious. So coming over here, I have a couple more creams. I have my Kiehl's Creme de Cor Cream. Um, this is their Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. This stuff is amazing. It's super thick, super emollient, really great for dry winter skin. It's my go-to body cream in the winter. Um, it's comparable to the... Um, Body Shop Body Butters, but because it's whipped, it's a little lighter and doesn't leave your skin feeling as greasy, but it still is a heavy cream. It will leave you a little bit greasy, so I like it the best at night, more so than during the day. I have the Waxoline Petroleum Jelly Alternative for my hands. Over here, I have my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Um, I put this along my chin and jawline where my skin is super dry and flaky, and it's a really great super um, great for sensitive skin moisturizing cream. I also put this on my hands, usually over the Waxoline. Up here, I have a Lush bath bomb. I actually just took a bath this morning, so there's only half a bomb left in here. I have the deodorant I'm currently using, which is the Dove Go Fresh Blue Fig and Orange Blossom Next, scent. I have this little Bath and Body Works candle holder that has a few samples and like everyday items. I have a couple hand repair creams from my dermatologist in here, just like super hydrating hand creams because as I said my hands are super dry. A couple more samples in here. I have Philosophy Time in a Bottle. I forgot if that's like an eye cream. Oh, it's an eye serum. Um, this is another SPF that I use just along my eyes. This is an SPF 30 just for the sensitive area of the eyes. It's like a waxy sort of consistency. So what I like about this, I wear this to work because I sweat so much when I'm teaching classes and regular SPF sunscreen will um, when I sweat, it'll move and it'll get into my eyes and SPF in the eyes really, really burns. So I use this around the eye area because similar to the Aquaphor, it's like a waxy barrier. So when I'm sweating and working out, it doesn't move and it doesn't drip into my eyes and burn my eyes. Cause the worst is like when I'm in the middle of teaching a spin class and all of a sudden I have sunscreen stinging my eyes and I can't see, it's just ugh, awful. So this stuff is a lifesaver for me. Um, and then I have a hope in the jar, just like another random moisturizer. I have a couple of SPF samples to use up, a couple of um, just like dry skin moisturizing creams. When samples, like I keep a bag of samples for when I travel to so just like grab and go, but when they get to be a little bit too much and there's too much in here, I'll put them in this little jar. Um, or if they're products that I'm like, oh, I wanted to try that, I put it in here just to give it a try to see if I want to commit to the full size and buy the full thing. So this is sort of for like my trial runs and they're grab and go so I can remember to use them when I'm getting ready in the morning. And that is it for my bottom shelf here. All my grab and go everyday items. So moving on here, this is going up the first shelf as you open the doors. And we'll start over here on the left side again. I have my um, current daily serum. This is the Lancome Genifique Serum and this is for the eyes and the face. I use this twice a day, morning and night. This stuff is awesome. And then over here is my Basket O Randomness. Um, this is the body spray I'm currently trying to use up, Victoria's Secret. Uh, cashmere vanilla jasmine smells really good but as you can tell it's a little off color I think it's getting a little old I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to finish this I have my Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist which is awesome I use this before I put makeup on to it just like moisturize any peeling skin and really just gets rid of any dry patches so my makeup can go on smoothly and back here I have um, I need to actually take this out of here. I think there's one more use in here. My Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This stuff is really good. I'm just not crazy about a peel-off mask. Um, the peeling is just a little rough on my skin. My skin's just a little too dry and sensitive that I don't need any extra tugging on it. I have an almost finished Bath & Body Works Be Joyful Ultra Shea Cream. 
underneath all of those I have another basket this is like some random stuff and hair care so this was my favorite toner when my skin was still combination to normal but now that it's super dry from this treatment it's just a little too harsh on me so this is a full bottle I had just bought one before I started this so I'm leaving this aside in this basket for when my skin kind of balances back out I can go back to using that I have my Fraca body lotion um, if you watch my perfume collection video, this is one of my favorite perfumes, one of my husband's favorite perfumes. So I like to put this on. I keep it back here hidden because I only wear it on special occasions, like when we're going out on a date night when I know I'm wearing the Fraca perfume and I just want to amp it up a little bit. And then in here, I just have like some random um, shampoo and hair samples from Sephora. And I put these in here. I had them in my CVS closet for when I was going on like trips and stuff to take with me. But I'm in the market for a new shampoo, so I popped them in here to kind of go through them one by one, see which one I like, and see if one of them may be the new shampoo I end up purchasing since I just changed my hair. All right, and so moving along, I have this Bath and Body Works candle jar. The I love their glass candle jars to reuse. They're great as like making like makeshift shelves and storage units in this cabinet. So I have my Tatcha rice enzyme. This is like a polishing. It's I think it's like a toner. You put it on like after you wash your face, but before like a spray toner. I like this stuff. It's nice and gentle. Um, and yeah, I know there's like a bunch of black stuff here. I cleaned this and it just did not come off. I think it's just like from like moisture of the black uh, packaging. I have no idea. I have my Kiehl's Powerful Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. I love this stuff, but it does burn my skin a little bit with the acne treatment I'm on. So I probably shouldn't be using it, but I am. And I'm just like powering through with it. <laughs> um, I have, this is a 100 point perk from Sephora, but I really like this cream. I had gotten a little sample of it. So I wanted to try a bigger size with the 100 point perk. This is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I like it a lot. I don't know if I like it enough to actually buy it, but I've only used it one night so far. So I'm gonna keep using this for the rest of this week. See how my skin likes it. Um, also in here, I have my makeup remover, my jojoba oil from Trader Joe's. This is what I use to take off my eye makeup. I have my Garnier Anti-Puff Eye Roller. This is a Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Serum. Melanie actually sent me this. Um, this is what I'm gonna be using once this is gone and once my acne treatment is done. I feel like this will be really nice on my skin. I have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask, which I've been putting on every other night because of how dry my skin is. I put it on at night. Oops. I put it on at night and I actually sleep with it on my skin. Behind that skincare tub, this is a colonial candle jar. Um, I have little samples of creams for my athlete's foot from the podiatrist. I have the athlete's foot medication I've been using, which is fungi foam that she prescribes me. And then I have my alginist um, oil to gel to oil to face wash. I use this to take off my face makeup. I just put it on dry wash my face with it and it just like disintegrates all the makeup and leaves my skin really hydrated. Um, moving on is hair care products. This is just like oils and hair treatments. I have argan oil. I have another like Moroccan argan oil thing. Back here is the coconut water hydration spray oil. And then I have my Kiehl's damage repairing leave-in treatment. This is a really great leave-in conditioner. I actually do have a backup of this. As we move on, I have more hair stuff. Um, this I use only when my hair is dark. It's like a honey bronze hairspray. I think this is from Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secrets from one of the two, but it's a hairspray that leaves like a gold tint in your hair. Oops, dropping out of my piss dry shampoo. Back here, I just have a freezing hairspray and this I can like rotate around. This is like a gel, like a hair gel sample. I have a hairspray. I have my comb for when I get out of the shower. My favorite beach uh, texturizing spray. And back to the start, another hairspray. And right back to that colored hairspray with the dry shampoo and extra hairspray back there. I have a Summer's Eve Lady Part deodorant because it smells really good and who doesn't want their lady parts smelling awesome? So that is it for my middle shelf up here. So finally getting into my top shelf. Couple items here. Um, I'm not gonna open this up. This is actually, well, I'll show you this first. This is my Rock Deep Wrinkle uh, Daily Moisturizer. Because it has retinol in it, I can't use it just yet uh, with the acne treatment. So this is just up here held aside. This is a Laura Mercier um, gift set of all of her creams that I use. This is the Infusion Day Rose. 
uh, moisturizing oil, the face oil that I use every day, a really great hydrating oil. It also has the Infusion Day Rose um, face cream that I love, and then an Infusion Day Rose lip, uh, lip treatment. Over here, I have my Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser. I love this stuff. I already have a backup waiting. I have the Sashido Ibuki Multi Solution Gel, and it's a salicylic acid treatment for acne that you can put on under or over makeup. Um, it does work pretty well, but I can't use it right now because I can't use any other salicylic acid products. I have my Bio Oil, which I put on my neck, my chest, and the back of my arms when I get out of the shower just for some extra moisturize and hydration. I have my Mio Workout Wonder. That is just kind of like an icy hot cooling, heating type of gel for when your muscles are super sore. This is the acne treatment I'm currently using. It's the Epiduo gel. Um, it's a retinoid and benzoyl peroxide treatment. I have my Kate Somerville oil-free moisturizer, which is the moisturizer I am currently using right now during the day. This stuff is awesome. And back there, I have a Dolce & Gabbana The Wand body lotion just to go with my perfume. And finally up here, top shelf, I just have a couple of random things. I have um, some old pictures of Dan and I that one at the beach up top. You can see our wedding date up there. That was for our save the dates. And that's another save the date picture there. I have some uh, body salt, like those are like sand Epsom salt from the Caribbean that I use in the bath sometimes. I have my Victoria's Secret, Secret Craving, Black Current Vanilla, that's just like a bronzy glow. My Kiehl's Self Tanner, another Victoria's Secret Vanilla Sandalwood of Hydrating Lotion, that's pretty old. Everything up here is stuff I need to use up like ASAP. Um, I actually made this glitter mason jar to hold my makeup brushes, if you can see them there. Um, this is a Jergens body oil, another thing I spray as soon as I get out of the shower for extra hydration. Back here, this is a... Um, Lalia Breathe White Lily, that is a just like a bath treatment, like a bubble bath, like a little luxury bubble bath. I have a Victoria's Secret Pink, another um, bronzing gel, yeah that's rubber ducky and a loofah back there. I have my MAC Fix Plus Spray and this Eucalyptus um, Bubble Bath Times. So that is it for my top shelf and that is it for my medicine cabinet. We've gone through it all. The craziness up there, um, the top shelf, which is just like skincare, acne treatment, cleansing, and the middle shelf, which is hair, body care, and some nighttime skincare, and then my go-to shelf down here. So that is everything that's in my medicine cabinet. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this video, leave a comment, a thumbs up, and let me know what's in your medicine cabinet, if you have any of the same products or Anything that you love that's a constant in your medicine cabinet, let me know. And oh, let me just show you my bathroom light because I'm kind of obsessed with this light fixture. Pretty, right? <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great day. Bye, guys.